Welcome to this MaxQDA tutorial on teamwork and file management. Today we will take a look at how MaxQDA 2022 supports teamwork and data exchange with its special teamwork functions. Let's start with some general information on storing data in MaxQDA 2022. In general, a project consists of two components. The actual MaxQDA project is stored in a project file, which has the extension MX22. All analysis steps, codes, memos, visualizations and all other analyses components as well as most of the data are stored directly in this file. Very large files such as audio and video files are saved in the externals folder. You find this folder by default in your MaxQDA documents folder. For PDF and image files, you determine the threshold yourself, that is, the size above which the file is saved in the externals folder. You can set this threshold in the settings. Now, let's see how we can transfer entire project files or individual components of a project from one team member to another. For this, you have three options. The simplest option, I drag my project file and the associated externally stored data, such as videos or audio files, in their entirety, from one computer to the next. For example, by sending the data via email or sharing it using a cloud service. It is important to note that project files can be shared this way, but should not be opened from an external location such as a cloud service, network drive or USB drive. It is best to copy the project file and associated data directly to the desktop or documents folder of the target computer. You can also learn more about external file storage in our FAQs, which we have linked in the description. We also have the option to send individual components of our projects to our team members. For example, a single document with associated memos, variables or coding. Alternatively, we can send only our code system as a single element. Also, with a few clicks, we can merge two different project files into one common project file. We will now take a close look at these three options. Let's assume we want to transfer our project with all the individual elements in it, i.e. all memos, codes, coded segments, variables and other components from one computer to another, for example to share the project with a team member. To do this we can simply drag the project file onto a USB drive. Since the project also contains videos and larger images, we also need to send the externals folder. This is easily done by clicking on the external files button and selecting the option bundle external data files. We then save this zip file on our USB drive as well. Alternatively, we could also copy the entire contents of the externals folder and paste them into the folder of the same name on the target computer. On the target computer, we copy the project file and the zip file containing the external files from the USB drive to a local folder. In our project file, we can easily include the external files by clicking on External Files again and selecting Unpack Bundle Data Files. We then select the zip file with our external files and these are now included in the project. We can now continue working with the project file as usual. A good practice is to regularly make copies of the shared project files when working as a team, so that you can jump back to previous editing steps if needed. To do this, we can simply save a copy of our project file by clicking Save Project As and including our initials and the current date into the file name. With the second option, we do not pass on the entire project, but individual components such as codes, coded segments and memos. This function is useful, for example, if a team member has added files to their project that the other team members do not have yet. To share individual parts of our project file, we click on Teamwork in the Home menu and the option to export. In the following window, we can select which documents, document groups or sets we want to share. If we continue, we can also select which codes we want to share as well. Here we can select single codes or export all codes. Now we name the exchange file and save it. We can now copy this exchange file onto our USB drive or simply send it via email. On the target computer, we open the project into which we want to import the files, click on Teamwork in the Home ribbon again 
and this time select the import option. Now we select our previously created exchange file and the data bundle there will be imported into our project. We can now select which documents, codes, variables, summaries and memos should be imported. If a document is already included in the target project, the codes inserted in the original project will automatically be added to the corresponding document. With the third option, we merge two different MaxQDA projects into a new project, so that all content from both projects is bundled in one project. To do this, we open one of the two projects that we want to merge. We can now merge another project with the already open project by clicking the Merge Projects button. Here we select the project that we want to merge with the open project. Merging projects works as follows. Certain elements can only occur once in a MaxQDA project. So in this dialog we select which project memo, which code memos and which logbook should be kept or overwritten by import. If we do not change the default settings, the elements of the already open project will be kept. Documents and document groups with the same name are created twice by default. If we check the box Don't import already existing documents, only those documents will be added to the new project that are not there anyway. Also, here we can select whether document groups and sets should be merged or not. When merging the project files, MaxQDA creates a backup copy of the project file to which we merged the second project. This way, we can always go back to a copy of the project file before the merge. The added project file remains unchanged. If you are working in a team of up to 5 people, you can also use the MaxQDA team cloud that comes with MaxQDA Analytics Pro. You can find an entire tutorial on how to work together as a team using the MaxQDA Team Cloud on our YouTube channel. We have linked it in the description below.